Hey, uh, viewer discretion is advised. We got police officers get ambushed by three crazy people. I don't know what went down or what went on, but we got two videos, though. Hey, wow. You got your stuff? Yeah, full pay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. Keely. Keely, Rachel, and that's She's our newest first year. Oh, how new? When did you start? Just started general phase. Four officers got ambushed. That's on the camera cut. Ooh. Hello, hello. Hello. Hi, buddy. Let's see what we got. Ah, uh, he shot Rachel, I believe. I think she's dead. Um, oh. she shot him. I think. No, he's still walking. He's trying to walk around me. Shit, I need to be more prepared than that. Oh no, she shot at him. There's two of them. They've got they've got Matthew's that gun now. Fuck's sake. Fucking hell, mate. Hang in there. Have you? What about the other two? You got eyes on Keely and Matt? Matt's not moving. Rachel's not moving now. And Keely I haven't seen. Dang. Okay, he made it out. He's coming over. Should I run? So they know where he is right now. Yeah, maybe. Do they know where you are? Yes, they do. Mate, can you, like, obviously scramble from tree to tree to try and retreat out of there? I'll are try. You to try and do that? I can try. Ooh, okay, I'll take them out. Fuck's sake! Oh, shit. Get low, get low. They'd murdered two police constables and an innocent bystander. They also shot and seriously wounded another officer. They were the critical eyes in the sky for specialist police officers on the ground. In December 2022, two police helicopters circled a William Billa property, directing trained operatives who were closing in on three armed and dangerous offenders. Thermal imaging shows fires which were deliberately lit then Nathaniel and Gareth Train firing bullet after bullet as an armoured vehicle rolled in. The two brothers and Gareth's wife Stacey, later determined to hold extremist religious views, were taken out after a lengthy gunfight. Several hours earlier, they'd murdered two police constables and an innocent bystander. They also shot and seriously wounded another officer. They mean shot. <laughs> Matthew Arnold and Rachel McCrow had been sent to the remote block to carry out a missing persons check and to serve an arrest warrant. But the pair only made it 120 metres up the dirt driveway before they were killed. Less than an hour later, Alan Dare and his friend Victor Lewis came to their neighbouring block to investigate an explosion. Yeah, there's a thing still exploding out there, Vic, so I wouldn't get too close. But only one of them left alive. Wow. Mr Lewis relived the moment his friend was killed telling the coroner's court he didn't see the shooter and only realised his friend was hit when he dropped to the ground. During his testimony, he criticised the emergency response, telling the court locals should have been told there was an active shooter in the area. If we were given a warning that something was going on, we would not have been in the position we were in. They should have told us to stay in our home, if nothing else. Kerry Dare also took the witness stand. She told the court she was on the phone to triple zero when she heard the gunshot that killed her husband. It was deemed too risky for the 58-year-old's body to be removed from the scene when the slain officers were, instead leaving him to the following day. Mrs Dare told the court she waited... No facts, I ain't gonna even lie. That's a real fact. That They should have had better re emergency response because all that was just... 1920-ish to me, back in the day is to me, because this was handled so improperly. 
I don't even. I, I ain't gonna even get too much into it because too much happened. But um, y'all got to do better. That was garbage. Y'all got to do better. That man, they was out there taking people out left and right, and it was way too easy for them to do that. Rachel the Superville, I'm out. Make sure y'all keep y'all head up. Make sure y'all keep y'all head on the swivel. If y'all in any dangerous place, make sure somebody know y'all there. Make sure y'all can find a way to get located. Make sure y'all got something. Make sure y'all can protect y'all. Y'all need to be able to do everything. You never know what's going to happen. You never know who's out there.